Somebody by the hand and say, the Lord is worthy. Chief of the cone. This is the Lord's doing. 
and it will stand forever, no other foundation. The Bible says that it can be laid, in which is already laid. Foundations done been laid. Jesus is that foundation. I said, Jesus is that foundation. No other foundation can you lay. It's already been laid. Amen. I said the foundation, the Bible said the foundation of God standing sure. We're on a sure foundation. Foundation of God standing is sure. But let every man that name it the name of Christ depart from iniquity. How many knows it's time that everybody that names the name of Jesus get away from sin. We're coming into the last days. Depart from iniquity. Get away from it. You know it's sin. Put it away. Don't be a partaker of it. Don't be caught. Don't be caught in that condition. But he said the foundation of God Stand this short. And let every man that name it the name of Christ. Depart from iniquity. Amen. 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 You know, one thing about it, if your Bible read and you said on the truth, you know what iniquity is. Amen. You know what sin is. We don't have to sit there like, well, what am I going to depart from sin? Whatever sin is. You know what you're doing wrong. Amen. You know what you're doing wrong. Amen. Amen. You know when you ain't doing right. You know when you fail God. Amen. So it said, let every man depart from iniquity. Now I want you to know the foundation is sure today. Amen. What we're built on, the kingdom of God, it's sure. It ain't going to fall. God's kingdom ain't going to fall. When this Daniel said, I saw a kingdom that the saints of God possessed. That was an everlasting king. Forever and ever and ever. So the kingdom of God will not collapse. It ain't going broke. God ain't going broke. He's not going to lose his power. He's forever. You can depend on your investments. Will bring good dividends. But you invest in God. And you invest in this whole world. The time you get it good invested, you might get word at the bank that you invested in. The system has collapsed. And you lost all your money. It's happened many, many times. So for a person's investor, he's got to be really, really, really wise now. Well, you better hold on to it. Better put it in some gold. If you got any left over, hide it somewhere. Paper money is fixed to collapse. Paper money is fixed to, to collapse. Hey, you can have a whole wheelbarrow load of it. You won't pay to buy a loaf of bread. It's losing. And you know, some of you may remember I had this uh, vision, dream, not vision, back in, uh, it was two years ago, we was having that Back to God revival. Was that it? Back to God revival. 22. I had this vision, this dream that we were burning our cash. And pledging allegiance to China. Y'all remember that? We're at that door, folks. God don't just lie. But God speaks. We were burning our cash. And when you burn your cash, that means it ain't, ain't got no value. No it's worthless. And did you know all the way a nation can become debt free is declare their currency invalid. There's no other way that a, a nation can become debt free when you're deeper debt as we are. And we spend it rent money. We're already over $30 trillion in debt. 
and all these folks coming in across the border. And you, we ain't even had feet in some of our folks. Some of our old people ain't getting enough to eat beans and weenies. Crackers. But it's a, it's a scam, see, it's a, it's a worldwide scam to bring America to her knees. See, America will have to be broken before the Antichrist can take over the world. See, America, if America ain't broken, then the Antichrist will not be able to take over the world. But when America falls, the rest of the world falls. But <laughs> throwing away a nation, and that's what they're planning to do. That's what they're planning on doing. Only way a nation can become debt free is to declare their currency invalid. Folks will lay down rich and wake up poor. That's what happened in the Depression. People jumped out of windows, you know, back in, in the 80s, folks. There was some jumped out of They lost a million dollars overnight. It's like the, the stock market failed. And folks jumped out of buildings. You know why? Because that money was their God. And when they lost their God, they didn't have no other reason to live. If money's your God, you're going to commit suicide. Because your God's going to die. But thank God, money ain't my God. Money ain't my God. I didn't get up this morning to serve money. I for money to serve me. Amen. But to serve the Lord. Get our eyes on Jesus. See, see the Lord's able to, to work a miracle. See, God don't, you don't have to have money for God to feed you. Children, children of Israel didn't have to pay for that man that fell from above. They didn't have to buy that water that they drank from that rock. It was more than just water. Though it was water, it was more than water. God was speaking something spiritually. Paul said that rock that followed them in the wilderness and that they drank from that rock that followed them in the wilderness and that rock was Christ. Just like they drank from that rock, we drank it now. We drank it from that rock. Oh, we drank it from that sound that won't go dry. We drank it from that rock. That rock is Christ. I said, come to me. Told that woman at the well. I said, give me the drink. I said, why are you asking me to drink? I said, I'm a Samaritan. Jews don't have nothing to do with the Samaritan. I said, woman, if you knew who it was. Woman, if you knew who it was that asked you for drink. I said, you give him drink. And he'd give you that water. To drink that you never thirst. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm talking about drinking from that rock. I'm talking about drinking that water that will quench your thirst. The soul that quenches the thirst of your soul. He said in Matthew, I mean, Isaiah 55, Oh, come, him that's thirsty, come and drink. Come and drink. Come and buy without. Money, come and buy wine and milk. Come and drink of this. Praise God, quench your thirst. Thank God, there's one thing to quench, quench a man's thirst. The thirst of his soul. That's the water of life. That's Jesus. Nothing else can quench your thirst. But we have to board us up. And that's the only way a nation can. Become debt free and keep all the nations off of them. declare their currency in value. We have to know it, folks. We have to know it. In America, we need to pray. We need to pray for revival. God, send us revival. Don't let us fall like this. Don't let us go out like this.
they make the statement, you know, America's too strong to fall. America's economy is too strong to fall. Let me tell you, America's economy is a mess. Inflation's that you're paying twice as much. A lot of stuff you're paying double right now what you was just months ago. Man, it's ridiculous. You can go in the store and come out. And you're talking about 200, 250 bucks. You're in Nashville, you walk out with it. paying that much money. And you better not go down into the lowest of the parking chamber. You better stay out of there. You'll come out broke. You better get, just get you some dishwashing liquid and let it be done. Let it be body wash and your shampoo. And dry your hat, head out real good. Dry your skin out real good. Flake up. There you go. Jesus. But we're not just in any time. We're in the end time. And it's been pushed. They're trying to spin us. They're trying to spin us where we can't come out. Our federal government is trying to spin, trying to give away. They're trying to give away money that we don't have. Giving nations money. I believe in every folk, but look at you when you're 33 dollars in debt. You gotta pay your own bills. You're gonna tilt somewhere. And you know who they borrowed most of the money from? My worst in China. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Borrowing the money from the enemy. <laughs> That's why they they're free to put up poker stations in our country. We owe them so much. And they own our president too. They own him. Lock, stock, and back. Him and his boy both. Got him with the truth. Let it just come out last week. The Congress is in the investigating. And they're coming out all, all in millions of dollars. Went to the Biden family. His brother, his sister, his son, him. The whole Biden bunch has been setting us down the tube. They've been selling us down the tube. And I told everybody, they got mad at me. They got mad at me. I told them, you vote this man and you're going to see he's going to destroy this nation. He's done exactly what I told him. He's doing everything he can do to bring it down. But it's all working for one world on the mark of the beast. But when America falls, then the rest of the world will fall too. But you know the foundation of God through this all, through it all, the foundation of God today still stands sure. I'm glad that our investments, you know what people, all the nations, you know what, they're taking investments elsewhere now. They used to fight to get to America to invest their money. Now they're taking it some they're taking it to China and Russia. People's taking their money to China and Russia. They're gonna invest where they can get dividends. They see America falling. And when you see a nation falling, you ain't gonna stick your life savings in something that's falling. You wanna stick it in somewhere, you're gonna get some dividend. That's why I'm investing all mine in Jesus. That's why I'm investing my life. And I have invested my life in Jesus. Amen. Praise God because he always pays good dividends. Amen. His bank ain't going to fail. Amen. Hallelujah. You invest into his kingdom. Yes. Praise God. When the time comes, you can't buy bread. You'll eat. You'll eat. You invest in God. You support the gospel. You send, send the gospel. Praise God to others. When you get in trouble, God will not forsake you. Amen. No, he will. He will not forsake you. If he fed the children of Israel for 40 years in the wilderness, they didn't plant a garden, they didn't dig a well. And the clothes, feet didn't swell. And the clothes didn't wax over. They got the same suit of clothes in 40 years. God took 
him out there. We took him out there. He took care. God ain't brought us out here to leave us. God has not brought us out here to leave us. He didn't take the children of Israel out in the wilderness and forsake them. He said, I'll never forsake you. Oh, I'm with you always. Even to the end of the world. And he meant that. And in believes he meant that. Oh, I'm with you always. Even to the end of the world. Praise God. Never leave you. Never forsake you. I'll be with you always. Through it all. Jesus is not going to abandon us. He knows a good father, good mother ain't going to abandon their children. Here comes a bear across the yard and y'all better run, children. I'm gone. No, oh, a good parent will get between that bear. No it. Get in the house. Get in the house. Get in the house. What they're saying, you got to take me first before you get to my children. You better take me first before you get to my children. Hallelujah. So he said, I'll never forsake you. And I'll tell you what, the devil ain't, ain't, ain't can't take Jesus. I said, the devil can't take him. Praise God. He doesn't have the power to take Jesus. Jesus is there. And he, he's got angels surrounding us. There are angels all out there today. Oh, now you will. Can't you feel them? When you talk about them. See, there's angels out there. The devil would like to come in here somebody with a, with, with, with a AK-47 just clean up. Don't you think the devil wouldn't do it if he could get by? He's doing it everywhere now. Those people ain't got no protection. I said, the devil's sending in killers to steal, kill, and destroy. See, the devil's got his anointing just like God's got his anointing. The devil's got people sold out to him just like God's got people sold out to him. We got angels, see. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Did you feel that? We got angels watching around us. We got angels around this building. We got angels. I promise you, if the devil could penetrate those angels, he would come in and try to destroy them. I interrupt. Do something. You've seen the devil come in and just try to interrupt your service to somebody? You've seen the devil come in. You've got to you got to be wise to know the difference whether somebody wants help or he's sitting there by the devil. That's the time you put out and put him out fast. Get attention. He wants help, he ain't going to be trying to disturb the service. No if he come in to interrupt what God wants to do, he needs to be put out. Know where you come from. Go back to your master and tell him it didn't work. Go back to your master and tell him I couldn't do nothing up there. Hallelujah. See, we got angels. Praise God. In these perilous times, we've got angels. I, I, I read this book on this. We're getting the scripture. I read this book on this. Uh, Witch that got saved. Said she went to somebody invited her. She said she used to be in that witches have competitions, she said. And said she, she used to win it all the time. Said the last one she won and took a 357 magnum, pointed straight it out of her between her eyes. And said she done like this. The bullet fell in the feet. And she said the witches, they meet up and they have competition to see who's the strongest. Somebody invited her to a little old storefront. Yeah. So 
they would they would actually inject themselves. According to them seance, inject themselves out of their body and go over to torment families, torment churches. That they could get to. But you know, they couldn't get to all of them. I told that too. And some they couldn't get to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. How many know that there's a difference between those that serve the Lord and those that serve the devil? And said, she, somebody invited her. She just thought she would go. And said, the first night, she drove up out there in the car in a little old storefront building, a little holy room the church. There was shouts, speaking in the tongues, rolling in the floor. Man, she showed up in the wrong place. <laughs> Them little old folks that I didn't believe that there was no devil that God couldn't take care of. They may not have knew what kind of witch they were dealing with, but it didn't matter to them that God could handle all witches. They believed that the power of the Holy Ghost, there was no power of demonic forces could stop them or control them. Bible said, taste and see 
Hallelujah. 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 It's better than cornbread and collard greens. With ham hock. You lie with me with ham hock. Hallelujah. Glory! He should taste, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Yes, he's good because we keep coming back to eat again, don't we? We keep coming back to sup with him. We keep coming back to put our feet on his table. We keep coming back.
she was walking down the aisle, coming to Jesus. Something those three days, those two days, she sat in that car. Something came out of that building and got a hold of it. Hallelujah. It broke the powers. It broke the hold. Hallelujah. God knew what he was doing. God didn't have to say that witch. He could have turned her loose and just scooped her out on into the pit. But God knew what she would do. He knew she would come out and preach. He knew she would turn around and go the other way. He knew she would win souls to hell. To hell. He knew she would bring deliverance to me. Just to tell her story where God brought her from and what God Coming at all, she wept. Well, well, and she prayed to her. I didn't even know the folks knew who she was and watched. Like I said, it didn't matter to them. That's what they were there for. It didn't matter how you were bound or what you were bound with. They were there to help you. They were there to pray with you like folks used to be. They were there to stay with you all night if you needed. Now you're getting a good prayer. You look around. You might be locked in the door. Everybody gone. You have to pray. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you want it to the next day we all night long if you took it. Hallelujah. Nobody was in too big a hurry. That they couldn't pray for you to get delivered. People stayed with you. They stayed with people. They tarried until they were endued. Hallelujah. 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 As she said, they controlled the police station, they controlled the policemen, they controlled cities. He said there was this new family moved into town. Their job was to go and terrorize. So they went into seance. She wrote this book. Come out of that body. He said they was flying through there. I know this sound. Now this world, this is what she wrote. You know, I was in Mexico one time, sleeping in church with her preaching. I kept hearing, pop, 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 pop. My God, what in the world is that flying at night? I heard that thing all night long, pop, pop, like big old queen. She said, I said, which is flying? I said, do what? She said, I said, which is flying?
Now I go down to the sides of hell. He talked to himself. He got a third part of the angels to get on his side to try to take over heaven. And he got kicked out. Down to the sides of hell. See, the devil didn't have the power then. He don't have the power now to take over the kingdom of God. See, our investments is not in this world. Our investments is in Jesus and God's kingdom. See, this world's going to fall. People are scrambling now. People that's got money are scrambling like never before, trying to find somewhere to put it where to be safe. There ain't no hole deep enough. When God touches a nation and begins to cause it to crumble, there ain't no safe place to put nothing but in Jesus. Now in Jesus, it'll be safe. The devil can't get to it. But in this world, the devil has access. In this world, Satan has access. But if it's invested in God's kingdom, the devil do not have access. I said the devil don't have access. I mean, people are doing everything they know to do. Try to preserve. They know they ain't going to preserve all of it. They're just trying to preserve some of that way. Some of it. Part of it. When your dollars decrease, your money decreases. If it falls overnight, your money falls overnight. I mean, really, you know what the economy is right now? It's like a big old balloon. And that thing is done stretch to you to see through. It's done stretch until it's almost to pop. All we're doing now is printing money. We don't have no gold to back it up. See, if you ain't got gold to back your money up, it's not stable. Your foundation is not stable. See, the reason God's foundation is sure is because He can back it up. He can back every word He speaks up. He got the power to back anything up He says. Whatever God says, He can back it up. And whatever He sends us to say, He'll back it up. Praise God. It ain't no hot air balloon. It ain't stretching thin. God's kingdom ain't stretching thin. It's strong. It's powerful. The Holy Ghost is still real. God is still saving. God is still healing. God is still delivering. You know, a lot of, even a lot of churches, that they, they preach in that we're going to be mayors and governors and congressmen and political power. God's kingdom ain't about political power. It's about Holy Ghost power. It's about casting out devils and healing the sick. It ain't about being a congressman. Some of these poor preachers are preaching at the people. You're going to be a congressman. You're going to be a senator. You're going to be this. Who wants to invest yourself in something that's falling? I want to invest myself in something that never going to fall. Amen? I don't want to invest my life in something that's going to crumble. It's already falling. Slide down the slope. I want to put my investments in the kingdom of God. It'll never fail. You'll get dividends. The dividends will return in full strength. You won't lose no percentage. You know, it's like you put money in the bank and the, if the dollar fails in your what you would have got, you won't get. The answer is you should have or would have got. You don't get it. Because it failed. And it's falling. And the dollar is losing its value. Fast. It'll come to a place you'll have a whole wheelbarrow load of Money, you can't buy a loaf of bread. But a nation 
to get out of debt like we're in debt has to declare their currency in value. That's the only way you can get out of debt. That means everybody broke. That means everybody starts all over. The nation's flat down like, like you got an automobile with four flags. The battery's dead. It won't crank. Transmission's tore up. Motor's blown up. Laying flat on the ground. You're in trouble then. And that's where a nation winds up when they forget God. He said the people are a nation that forget God. God shall turn them into hell. So America's been turned into hell. Quickly. I said quickly. Our enemies are laughing at us. Our enemies are mocking us. And that's what they did to Israel too. Israel's enemies mocked them. They mocked them. And they saw that God left them and chased them and chased them. Then the enemy, it's like David, you know. When David left out, his son tried to take the kingdom. Forty years he conspired to take the kingdom from David. And one day he rose up and got his men to run before him and after him and started declaring himself to be king. Absolutely. And David told his men, said, Pack up, we're going to leave. He left barefooted and weak. But you know what he said? If the Lord's with me, he'll bring me back. David left because he didn't want brother to fight against brother. He said, If God be with me, he'll bring me back. Knows that God brought his back. Absolutely. Caught his neck in a fork. Joab thirsted him through. David cried out, Absalom, my son, my son, would to God it have been me? I'm still in you. And heaven knows God, even though it was David's son, it was God's king. Even though it was David's son, it was God's king. Amen. Amen. It was God's king. And see, God didn't anoint Absalom to be king. He declared himself to be king. God anointed David to be king. God sent Samuel to the justice house to anoint David to be king. A little ruby faced boy. God didn't send the prophet. So anoint Absalom. He declared his own self. And heaven knows that's what happens. A lot of times people declare their own self so God hadn't anointed them to do it. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. But through it all, through it all, the foundation of God standing sure. Turn with me. Let me read this scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 3. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid. We can stop right there. There's no other foundation that can be laid than which is already laid, which is Christ Jesus. Amen. Other foundations can no man lay than that is laid. See, the only sure foundation today that we can build on and know for sure that it will last, that it will stand through the storm, 
is the foundation of God. That's why he said the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal. It's sealed. The Lord knoweth them that are his. And there's a God knows when you hear them. Let every man that names the name of Christ depart from a nigger. Which is Jesus Christ. Isaiah turn, we'll come back to that. Isaiah 20 and 16. You got to say amen. amen. Therefore, thus said the Lord, God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone. And this was before Jesus was born, but he was talking about Jesus. Therefore, thus said the Lord, God, behold, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone. A precious cornerstone. A sure foundation. He that believeth shall not make it. Back over here in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. I mean first chapter 3 verse 12. Now if any man build upon this foundation. See, the foundation has already been laid. But heaven knows that people are trying to build on money. Money ministry. Yeah. Come on. Come on. It's all about money. All about becoming a, a, a multi-millionaire. That ain't what Jesus died for to make us all multi-millionaires. It's being lying to people. Jesus died to save us from our sin. To deliver us from our iniquities. Not to make us all rich. He can if he won't. But you know what? Most people can't arrest you. You hear no amen? amen. You try it, would you? Let me just try it. Yeah, you might lose your soul, too. I told the Lord a long time ago, I said, Lord, don't ever give me nothing. I can't stay saved. Amen. Just let me try it. I know what's good. I believe I can What have you done? What if it gets your head blown up so big that a hat in Texas couldn't find a hat in Texas to fit it? Gets you so far out that there's no return. He said, if any man, now if any man build upon this foundation, they're doing it gold, silver, precious stone. He done told us that they ain't no other foundation. He done told us they ain't no other foundation. But he said, if any man build on these, gold, silver, precious stone. And you know, that's what most people are trying to uh, uh, build on. It's their God. They ain't going do anything to hold on to. They'll do anything. If any man built upon these foundations, gold, silver, precious stone, wood, hay, stubble. Listen to what he said, verse 13. Every man's work shall be made manifest. And have no skin, got it on the right foundation. If you build it on any other foundation, it's going up in fire. When God tries it, when God tests it by fire, it won't stand. You know, something's got to be real when you test it by fire. Something's got to be right, made, made out of the right material when you put the flame to it. And that's what God said. Not just let, just let you build. I'm going to test it by fire. And if you ain't built on the right kind of foundation, it's going to go up in flame. Because there ain't no other foundation. If you're not building on me, Jesus said, it ain't going to last, is what he's telling you. Because when this world 
goes down, you're going down with it. So if there ain't no foundation that's laid and ain't already laid, which is Christ Jesus. Everything else is going down. Every, verse 13, every man's work shall be made manifest for the day shall declare it. That's what's going on now. The day is declaring because it shall be revealed by fire. Fiery trials will tell you what you made of. Somebody say amen. I said, fiery trials. If there's anything in you, it ought not be in you. It's going to come rolling out. Fire, you'll be tried as by fire. Be tested. Put the flame to it. See what it's made out of. See if you built on the right foundation. See if you've used the Word of God to build with. See if you've used the right kind of material to build. Praise God. Build a house of God. Every man's work shall be made defend. And it's best for the day shall declare it. it shall be revealed by fire. And the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. The fire will try every man's work. Why do you think God lets us go for a while and then he just sends us through a fire trial? He's testing your work. He's testing what you feel. He's testing to see what you really heard. You, you, you swallow it. You digest what he told you. That's just like a teacher says, I'll get, hold your books and get out your pencil and paper. I'm going to see if y'all been listening to me. I'm going to see if y'all really been listening to me. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Start scrambling there. Trying to look around and see if you're close to somebody that you think might know it. They look at you like that, uh-uh. I don't know. No, uh-uh. I don't know that. Listen to what he said. If any man works, abide. If any man work, abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. In a man's work shall be burned. He shall suffer loss. But he himself shall be saved. Yet so as by fire. What is a close call? I said that's a close call. Yet as by fire. No other foundation that can be laid than which is already laid. Which is Jesus. But that foundation is sure. And you say amen. amen. I said that foundation is sure. Amen. Turn with me to the book of First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2 and verse 6. Back up to verse 4. To whom coming? Back up to verse 1. 2 and 1. 1 Peter. Wherefore, lay aside all malice and all God and hypocrisy and envies and all evil speak as newborn babes desire the sincere milk, milk of the Word that ye may grow thereby. If so be, Ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious, to whom coming as into a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God. And knows that Jesus said, I came to my own. And my own received me, not they rejected me. Isaiah 53 said he was rejected of man, men, the man of sorrow, and acquainted with grief. In whom coming to a living stone, disallowed indeed of men, but chosen of God. 
and those you be disallowed, not allowed among men, but at the same time be chosen of God. Being rejected of men, but at the same time, you're God's chosen. That's the way it was for Jesus. People did, did rejected him, but he was chosen and sent to save the world. But chosen of God and precious, ye also, not just him, but he said, you also as lively stone are built up a spiritual house, a holy priesthood to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God by Jesus Christ. Wherefore, also, it is contained in the Scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a chief cornerstone, elect, precious, and he that believeth on him shall not be confounded. Unto you therefore which believe, he is precious. Oh, yes, he is. But unto them which be disobedient, the stone which the builders disallow, the same is made the head of the corner. Verse 8. A stone of stumbling. And knows that Jesus was a stone of stumbling. Many stumbled at the word of God. When people stumble at the word of God, they're stumbling at Jesus. They're stumbling at that stumbling stone. People have stumbled at the word of God. A stone of stumbling and a rock of offense. Even to them which stumble at the word. The word's true. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. There's no reason for people to stumble at the word, but people stumble at the word. They won't receive it. They stumble. They can't, they can't not just like those disciples. When Jesus told them, said, I'm the bread of life. Shall you eat my flesh and drink my blood? You have no life. They stumbled. They stumbled at that word of God. When he finally told them, said, no man can come to me except it's given to my Father. They packed their bags. St. John 6, 6, 6. The spirit of the Antichrist got a hold of them and they went back. They left Jesus. They stumbled. They stumbled at the Word of God. The Word of God became a stumbling stone instead of a stepping stone. Receiving it, it become a stepping stone. Being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Mm. What is tough thing? That people was appointed to do that. People was appointed. Well, I'm glad he didn't appoint me. I'm just glad he didn't appoint you to fight God. Ain't you glad he didn't appoint you to fight God? I'm glad he appointed me to salvation. You say, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Being disobedient, were to also they were appointed. But listen, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous life. Which in time past were not a people, but now are now the people of God, which had not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from flesh with us, which war against the soul having your conversation honest among the Gentiles that whereas they speak against you as evil doers 
they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Turn to Psalms 118 and 22. Psalms 118. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice. And be glad in it. Amen. How many believes the foundation of God stands sure tonight? Matthew 21 and 40. Isaiah 8 and 14 first. Isaiah 8 and 14. He shall be for a sanctuary, but for a stone of something. Talking about Jesus. And for a rock of a field. To both the houses of Israel. For a chin and for a snare. To the inhabitants of Jerusalem. And many among them shall stumble and fall. And be broken and be snared and be taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the law among my disciples. I will wait upon the Lord that hideth his face from the house of Jacob. And I will look for him. Matthew chapter 21. Finish up there. Matthew 21. And 33. 21 to 33 of Matthew. Hear another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about and divided a wine, built a wine press in it and built a tower, let it out to husbandmen and went into a far country. See, this is a parable. Let's see, that's what Jesus did. He went away, but he said, I'm coming back. He said, that same Jesus you see going away will come back. He said, he built a wine press. He, he, he prepared a place, put a vine in it, tore his vine, and let it out to husband me. See, he left people in charge. He anointed me. He said, I, I'm going away. But if I go away, I'll pray to the Father. He'll send you another come, which is the Holy Ghost. He said, I'm with you now, but in that day, I'll be in you. So he went away, but he said, I'm coming back. I'll go away to prepare a place for you. If I go prepare a place for you, I'll come again and receive you. Under myself, where I am, you may be also. So Jesus is coming back after one of these old days. He said, When you see these signs, look up, your redemption draweth back. He's coming back. How many believe Jesus is coming back? I believe he's coming back. I know he is. The scripture teaches us. He's coming back. Listen to what he said. And when the time of the fruit drew near, see. Put a vineyard there. In other words, the people is the field. 
and, and he planted the seed, which is the word. And then he sent back, come back to find out, check on the harvest. And when he come back, listen to what he said. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servant to the husband men that they might receive the fruit of him. And the husband men took his servants and beat one, killed another, and stoned another. He's talking about how they did his problem. Old Harry did his servants. How they killed the apostles. See, they come back and check and see what kind of fruit was being brought forth. Which is love and joy and peace and meekness, kindness and gentleness, and long suffering, goodness and faith. And, and told the husband they wanted some fruit. And they beat them, stoned them, and killed one, sent them away empty. And the husband men took his service, beat him, killed another, and stoned another. And again, he sent other servants. That were called they killed. Them apostles. God didn't quit sending them. He killed off them and he sent another group. He killed them off and he caused the Lord to send them. They sell out and go to. No one others got killed. They go to. They sell out and go to. Same thing now. God's going to have some people going to stand up in this end time. Great persecutions are going to come out against us. But see, we knew, we know that Paul died, Peter died, Isaiah died. But still, we're going to preach too. So we sent another group, other servers, more than the first. And they said to them, likewise. They did to them, likewise. They beat them and killed them and sent them away empty. But last of all, he sent them his son. That's Jesus. After all the rest of the come, and you know all the prophets, Jesus said, search the scripture, for in them you think you have eternal life. These are they that testify me. See, all the prophets told of His coming. All the prophets foretold of Jesus' coming. Last of all, after He done persecuted, killed His servants, and sent them away empty, last of all, He, he sent them. He sent His Son. That's Jesus. But see, it's God's vineyard. Last of all, He sent His them His Son, saying, they will reverence my Son. They'll listen to him. But when the husband men saw the son, they said among themselves, This is the heir. This belongs to him. He's the heir to him. Come let us kill him. <laughs> and we can get his inheritance. We can seize on his inheritance. Said so this is Jesus talking to him. Tell him what they were going to do. And they called him, talk about the son, about Jesus, cast him out of the vineyard and slew him. They crucified him on an old rugged cross. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard cometh, what will he do to those husbandmen? See, they didn't know this parable was to them, but they judged their own self. They answered real quick, they answered to they say to him, He will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard to other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruit of their season. Listen to what Jesus said to them. Did you never read in the scripture? The stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. Therefore say unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you. See, they judged their own self out the mouth. That they were wrong. Whoever did this was wrong. And they was the one doing it. They judged their own self and didn't even realize they were judging their own self. Therefore say unto you, the kingdom of 
God shall be taken from you and given to a nation. Bring forth the fruit there. Whosoever shall fall on this stone shall be broken. But whosoever it shall fall, it shall grind him to power. Jesus turned it on him quickly and said, if you want to come out of this thing, you better fall on this word. You better fall on this stone. You better fall on this truth because if it falls on you, it's going to grind you to power. And if you fall on God's word, it'll save you. Amen. But if it falls on you, it'll destroy you. And when the chief priest and Pharisee had heard his parables, they perceived that he spake of them. He's talking about us. And they opened them out too quick. Didn't they? they judged on sin. But when they sought to lay hands on him, they feared the multitude because they took him for a prophet. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, how many knows the foundation of God tonight stands sure. Well, there's no other foundation than be laid in which is faith. Thank you, Jesus. John chapter 8, verse 2. Thank you, Jesus. John 8, chapter 2. Well, the foundation can be laid, and which is already laid. Eight and two, it says, And early in the morning he came into the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. And the scribe brought unto him a woman, taken in a door. And when they set her in the midst, they say to him, Master, this woman is taking adultery. The very act of Moses and law commanded us that should be stoned. But what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him, that they might accuse him. That's what they want to They want to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down with his finger rolled on the ground, and though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said to them, He does. Without sin among you, let him cast a stone at her. And again, he stooped down and rolled on the ground. And they which heard it, being convicted by their own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the elder, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone with the woman standing in the midst. And when Jesus lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those that are accused? Has no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. And you stay there. Thank you, Jesus. Ten and nine. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. 14 and 6. Thank you. Jesus said to him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. Acts 4 and 12. Neither is there salvation. We're back up to 11. This is the stone which was set in all of you builders. See, the builders wouldn't use His lumber to build the house. But heaven knows if it ain't building with the right material, they ain't going to stand. This is the stone which was set at naught 
of you builders. They wouldn't use that stone, which is Jesus, to build the house, which has become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other. There is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Stand on you. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Lift your hands to the Lord. Lord, just thank you that the foundation of God is sure today. Praise God. Foundation of God is sure. Thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands up and praise. Hallelujah. It's going to stand. I said it's going to stand and ain't going to fall. Every All of our investments that we invest in God's kingdom, praise God, we're going to get different in. It's going to pay off. I promise you. He said, cast your bread upon the waters and it'll return to you not many days hence. It'll come back at you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Wave your hands to the Lord. Tell Him you love Him today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. Lord, we give ourselves to you today. We humble ourselves at your feet. Lord, we ask you, Lord, to send revival to this nation. Lord, let's come around these altars and pray today. Let's pray for America. Let's pray for the church. Pray for one another. Let's come and kneel and ask the Lord for his help. Come on, let's pray. Oh, the foundation is sure. We don't have to worry about the kingdom of God collapsing or going broke. It's sure today. Stay with Jesus. Like Paul said, tell them, God told us to tell them to stay with the boat. Tell them don't jump ship. Stay with the truth. Stay with Jesus. Don't jump ship. Stay with Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Spirit. Come on, let's cry out to Him. Come on, let's cry out to Him. Come on, let's ask the Lord to help us today. Save America. Save this country. Lord, send us for life. Lord, we call on your name, Jesus. God, we cry out to you tonight, Lord. Lord, we know it's a dry time, Lord. God, you're getting the people ready, Lord. God, it seems like there's many times, Lord. God, when we call, it don't seem like we get an answer, Lord. But God, we'll just stay faithful, Lord. God, many times and many trials that we've been through, Many trials have been tested, Lord. It was so fire, but God, you always sing this through, Lord. We can look back over many trials, many tests in our lives, and God, that you always never left us, Lord. God, you've always made a way to bring us through, Lord. God, I believe in these last days that we're coming into, God. God, that you purify the people's heart, Lord. God, you prepare them, Lord. You, Breaking up that old fire of man of our hearts, Lord. God, and you put that old word, that seed, that word of God, of you, Jesus, deep down inside of our heart, Lord. God, and you're going in, God, and you're turning it up, Lord. Like an old breaking plow, God, you're busting up the word. Weeds, Lord, you pull it out, God, you're uprooting it, Lord. God, we have some fertile ground. God, for you to put your seed in, God. God, that it'll break full of fruit, God, and much more fruit, Lord. God, we pray today, Lord. God, just strengthen us, Lord. Strengthen us in that prayer line, God. Strengthen us in that fasting line, Lord. God, help us to be faithful, Lord. God, in your word, God. Word, God, help us to be obedient to you, Lord. God, we cry out to you today, Lord. God, burn it out of the world, God. God, let it be prayers from us, Lord. God, let it take the whole life cold, Lord, tonight, God. From the heart to the altar tonight, Lord. God, and touch our lips and pray, God, that our sin will be purged. God, all our iniquities will be passed away from us, Lord. God, we want to be clean, Lord. We want to be pure, Lord. We want to be holy, God. God, we pray up tonight, Lord. God, 
wish I'd got to the trial. God, there would be the making purges, Lord, me to give it up, God. God, the spirit of suicide and murder, God, 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 God is poured out in the street, Lord. God, help us to get in that place, Lord. God, that you can fill us up, Lord, that you can set us, Lord. God, with the word in you and our mouth, Lord, like a sword, God. God, that we be able to, God, to be clothed, God. God, with that whole arm of you, God, that we to have all that breastplate of righteousness, Lord, we will have our feet shot for the preparation, God, of the gospel of peace, Lord. We will take up that shield of faith. God, to quench those fire darts of the wicked, Lord. God, we will put on that helmet of salvation, Lord. Look at the sword of your spirit, that worthy, Lord, God. Lord, God, that we be clothed with the whole of it, God. God, it feels like, God, we've done all that we can do, Lord. You told us to stand still, Lord. God, just clothe ourselves with that word. Let our lights be a burning, Lord. Oh, God, let our lords be going about with the truth, God. God, and we can go to you in all the world and preach the gospel, Lord. God, to every preacher, Lord, to every soul, God. Oh, God, there's people dying by the multitude thousands, Lord. God, murders on the rampage, Lord. Suicides on the rampage, Lord. These folks just turned over to the devil, Lord. They broke, Lord. They broke the trial. They broke the temptation, Lord. But God, we cry now tonight, Lord. Oh, Lord, we still push it, Lord. God, we still cry now, Lord. Lord, we ain't lost the battle. We ain't lost the fight, Lord. God, we know that if we hold on to you, Lord, you won't fail us, Lord. Lord, you'll never leave us. You'll never forsake us. You'll be with us. And to the ends of the world, but God, we cry, Lord, let us be made, Lord. Let us be purged, Lord. God, I'd rather go to the fire here than I have to burn in hell, Lord. God, we turn it to the Lord. We got son. We got daughters. We got grandchildren. They need to be saved. They need to be delivered, Lord. Oh, we're standing in the gap of the denial, Lord. Oh, 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 God, we're making up the case for that, Lord. Oh, search our hearts, Lord. God, go in the human parts of my belly, Lord. Search out our spirit tonight. God, search our heart out, God. Search out our mind, Lord. God, renew our mind in the Holy Ghost, God. Oh, God, let us be filled, Lord. Oh, that Jesus, that wherever we go, Lord, the manifestation of your kingdom, Lord, of your name, Lord, I pray, God. Lord, we stand through us, God. Lord, you're manifest to us, Lord. Oh, God, we still cry, and we believe it for you, Lord. God, we believe it for that outpour, yours, and you pour out, Lord. God, that poor man, that latter rain, and one time, and one month, Lord. Lord. Shall we be satisfied? God, we must satisfy where we are, Lord. God, I see a lack in me, Lord. But I pray that, Lord, you make us complete in you, Jesus. Lord, that we hold firm to you, God. God, that we don't let go of your word and your promise in the Lord. Lord, we stand in the gap of the
the mouth and not drink tonight, Lord, your word to do, God. Lord, we come tonight, God, to drink from your living water, that fountain of living water, Lord. Lord, yes, tonight, God, to cry out, Lord. God, to be washed, to be cleansed, Lord. God, to be purged, and to be filled with the of the Holy Ghost. That would fire, God. Oh, God, help us, Lord. God, we cry out, Lord, you show me here. Just a few days ago, that God, we were climbing, God, we were climbing, God, we were like the mountain got tall, and it got straight, and it got straighter, Lord. Oh, God, just as soon as I said, Lord, Lord, if I go to make it, Lord, Lord, I hit the top of that mountain, Lord. God, a lot of us feel tonight, God, are we even going to make it, Lord? God, are we going to see the eternal soul? We're going to see the God, we're going to see it. Oh, my God, we're going to see it, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. God, we're going to enter into it, God. We're going to be a part of it, Lord. Oh, God, and that's what we're crying out tonight, God. We just want to be a part of Lord. God, with nothing but dirt, Lord, and dirt shall we return, Lord. With nothing but our faith, with Lord, that is sinful in the wild. Oh, my greater seed that's within us, and he that's of the world, Lord. Lord, oh, we cry out tonight, God, make us that part, Lord. God, that we can go out, God, and bring the souls. God, that we can look and search the millions out, Lord. Oh, that you find those fruits there, Lord. God, you'll find the manifestation of you the love of you, Lord. God, we call you tonight. Oh, God, we believe in you, Lord, tonight, God. Oh, but God, just when it seems like we're about to break off you always. Oh, God, you always show up in time, Lord.
raise your hands to him, praise him. Tell him you love him. Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes it takes a bow.